let's go ahead and meet the nominees beginning with the Friday Night Phenoms from Week 7. So here we go. Let's begin with Kalen Lamaster, the running back from the Centerburg Trojans, who was flat out electric everywhere on the field. He did it in the run game, receiving also in special teams. His last name, I believe if you break that down into French, would be The Master, because this guy was exactly that on the field, Hayden. He took over in just about every aspect. Yeah, four total touchdowns on the night. You can see right here, Lamaster definitely has some speed once he breaks through that initial first part of the line. Here he's doing it on the return, and I don't see anyone probably within 10 yards. Mm -mm. Uh, he's just getting it done all over the field. Good to see him involved in many different facets of the game. It's always nice when you can have an elusive back who you can use in the rush game, the pass game, and be a danger on the return side of the football. Total complete package, Mr. Lamaster. 142 yards on the ground and making some nifty plays too. And you see him getting into the end zone on special teams. The trifecta for Mr. LeMaster. Victor Skoog, uh, man, it seems like he's pretty much making his way onto this list every single game. This wasn't one of his best, according to his head coach, but still good enough to make our countdown. Because he, again, he's one of those, he's like a... Uh, Mrs. Dash mix where it's it's kind of a full combination. There's a little bit of salt in there. There's a little bit of pepper in there There's a little bit of spice in there, too. G-Man, you've seen him with your very own eyes You know, he, he's wiggly out in the open field. He makes plays happen with his feet outside of the pocket So this offense they need him to be a playmaker and he has been yeah, Brian I've seen him in back-to-back -back weeks. He got my uh, my vote for nominee with uh, the Kinsey Island game and of course at the Ontario game He got it done too. got pulled at the after a second interception. However, right. he still had a huge game 92 passing yards, two touchdowns, 43 rushing yards, and a rushing touchdown. So, big uh, day for Scoot. Yeah, and speaking of huge games, how about this? 375 yards of total offense. This is what the Tigers have been looking for. Brock Hill was able to deliver in a big win, a come-from-behind win at that for the Tigers. So, he was finding his guys out in traffic. I really like his escapability outside of the pocket. And then he's one of the more physical runners at the quarterback position in all of North Central Ohio. So when it's all on display, Storm, this guy, pretty special, had another fantastic night. Yeah, and I think this is kind of routine for him now. I mean, uh, Brock Hill's definitely one of the more special talents in the area. Like, look at that arm strength right there. And, you know, a guy who can get out of the pocket and, and, and get some yards with, le with, his le with his legs, excuse me, you know, keep the defense guessing. Always a good thing. Max Lauer back on the list for the second straight week. He's been a bell cow. 30 carries again. He got into the end zone twice, went over a honey bun one more time. I love what this guy brings in terms of his physicality, his speed. He is a true total package. He's a thunderous runner in the open field. I know that you just love him, Travis. And just that highlight right there, he drugged three defenders into the end zone. He gets through that original line of scrimmage and just watch him work he battles until the end of the play it looks like he's down sometimes and he just gets right back up and continues to push the line and like I said in a couple segments ago one of the main reasons why Northmore is 7-0 and looking for their first undefeated season in school history is because of him and that offensive line but how about Marshall Shepard? He's been on our countdown every single week. He's the only one who is 7 for 7. 17 of 28 is what he did to get back on our list. He threw it into the end zone three times for Tutties, over 260 yards. Storm, we've been letting you advocate for this guy. You haven't been getting it done. The votes aren't coming in from Whippet Nation. So, Hayden, you're a Shelby guy. Tell your community, why are they missing out? Why is this guy worthy of a vote? Well... I would, from the simple point that this is probably a down night on the stat side for, as Storm shakes his head, this is a down night for this guy. This is probably all the other quarterbacks in the area's dream game. So Storm even offered to shave his head. If that didn't work. I don't want to know what else would work. At least get this guy a win before the regular season's over. Just do it. Should do we it shave for the town. Hayden's head? I don't know. What do you guys think? So Can we put I don't that on the line? With that. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll toss something up on the line this week. We'll figure it out this week with hair. Just get the guy oh, a your win. Your fiance's All right. love I'm going to have some buzz clippers. <laughs> I'm going to have a little bit of dye here in the studio. Vote online each week. Make it count.